Hi guys and welcome to another video on the Apple M1 series. In this video I'm going to try out Anaconda as you guys have requested it very much lately. So without further ado, let's go on to Safari and search for Anaconda. Not the actually snake uh, programming. So it's the world's most popular data science platform. I've never heard of that before. But yeah, that's not my cup of tea usually. So what are we doing here today? We are individual edition, yes, open source, sounds good. Your data science toolkit. Uh, yeah, just download it for Mac OS 64-bit graphical install because why not? All right, I will catch you when the download is finished. So the download is finished. Let's go through the installer. This package will program, yeah, sure, a lot. So it should do some pre-checks. Seems to be fine. So let's go through the installation process there. Install it for me, sure. Install. So the installation is going on. It's looking good so far. And oh, it seems it's uh, requested a PyCharm IDE, which we already have installed from our previous videos. So I will catch you when the scripting is finished. All right, the installer will access some files on my machine. All right, working with Python and Jupyter Notebooks is a breeze with PyCharm Pro designed to be used in a corner. Don't have uh, the Pro version installed. I do have community version is also, let's see and the recycling bin, let's go to the application folder and see if we do get an, do get an entry and I can't the navigator so let's see what happens next so the navigator is jumping up and down as we have seen with most of the Intel apps which are not optimized yet for the M1 chip alright, we do get the navigator, it is running so we do have this thing installed already PyCharm community launch, see what will happen there. Okay, so we have started this thing. Let's go to a new project. Virtual environment. I think Condor is for Anaconda. So guys, keep in mind that I have no idea what I'm doing right now, I'm just trying to figure out if this thing is running or not. So it is creating a conda environment. All right, main pi. Yeah. So run main, hi, pycharm. That seems to be working, but that's just a simple Python code which is running in pycharm. Okay guys, I'm thinking that actually is everything we have to do here. Let's open up the menu and a conda demo. So it actually runs fine. Uh, as you guys have seen in my previous video, before we code Python, there's no problem with these machines. PyCharm now is working. Um, when I set the button by interpreter to Anaconda, everything seems to be working fine. So guys, I hope that was. This gives you an idea how this thing is working right now, so it seems to be working fine. Installation took quite a while, but uh, that's the thing you have only do once, and then you can start working. So, yeah, if you have any questions or anything that I can actually do with this Anaconda project, what you want to see, just comment them below, and I will try to catch up. Okay, guys, thank you very much, and see you in the next one.